Hello, I'm Rini, and this is my friend Clico. Hi, everybody. We are here to help you learn about computers. Hi, Clico. If the computer is a machine, then how is it different from other machines like the TV or fridge? Well, Rennie, other machines like the TV or fridges are simple machines. They can do only one thing. On the TV, you can watch programs, and on the fridge, you can keep food cool. However, a computer can do many things at the same time, and that makes it different. Please tell me more about how a computer works. A computer works in a cycle called the IPO cycle. IPO means input processing and output. The data and instructions which we provide by using an input device like the keyboard into a computer are called input. The words, numbers or pictures that we enter as inputs are called data. The computer then works on the given data and instructions and produces the result. This step is called processing. What is output then? After the processing the data, the computer displays the result. This result is called the output. Do you know that each and every part of the computer has a role in the IPO cycle? No. Can you describe it for me? The keyboard and the mouse provide inputs to the computer and so they are called input devices. The central processing unit or CPU process the input and produces an output. The CPU is called the processing device. It is also called the brain of the computer as it controls all parts of the computer system. The monitor displays the result and the printer can print the result on a sheet of paper. So these two parts are called output devices. Also keep in mind about the differences between a soft copy and a hard copy. What are they, Clico? The information that we see on a monitor is called soft copy and the result that is produced on a sheet of paper is called hard copy. The hard disk inside the CPU is called the storage device as it can store a large amount of information. Our teacher said that computers are of different types. Some are small, some are fast and some are large. Do you know anything about them? Yes, Rini. There are various types of computers based on their speed size and cost. Some advanced computers are called workstations. Workstations are desktop computers that are used for technical or scientific work like 3D graphics and game development. A server is a special type of computer that has a number of smaller computers connected through a network. Servers are used in schools, colleges, offices and other premises for the storage of all the main data. The data is shared on computer networks. Very fast and powerful. Computers are called mainframe computers. These computers are used in large organization like banking organization, scientific research center or industries to do work that involves large amount of data. A mainframe computer can carry out thousands of instruction only in a few seconds. Be used by more than 100 people at the same time. Does that mean the monitor and the keyboard or mouse are very big so that 100 people can use it? Ha <laughs> ha! No, Rini. The keyboard, monitor or mouse remain the same size. Only that each user has a monitor and keyboard to work on which are all connected to a mainframe computer. Our teacher also said something about supercomputers. What are they? 
सुपर कंप्यूटर्स आर द मोस्ट पावरफुल एंड फास्टेस्ट टाइप ऑफ मेन फ्रेम कंप्यूटर्स दीज कंप्यूटर्स कैन वर्क ऑन ह्यूज अबाउट ऑफ डाटा वेरी क्विकली The first supercomputer is the Cray. It has developed by Cray Research INC USA. Does India have any supercomputers? Yes, Param and Anurag are Indian supercomputers. Fast can a supercomputer be clickable? Very fast. A supercomputer will take only 2 minutes to do a job. That a standard PC would take 22 hours to complete. Why would anybody require such a fast computer? Supercomputers are not for personal use. These computers are used in tasks that needs difficult calculation, such as rockets launching, climate research, and weather forecasting, or for defense purpose. Computers have really changed our lives forever. It is so advantageous to have a computer. Well, Reni, there are merits and also demerits of a computer. What are they? The merits of a computer are it can do many things at the same time. It can carry out complicated calculations quickly and accurately. It saves paper by storing large amounts of information. It helps to connect people living at far off places with the help of email and video calling. It helps you to research for useful information on the internet. It is used nowadays as a learning aid. What could be the demerits of a computer then? First, a computer cannot think on its own. So if a wrong input is entered into a computer, it gives you a wrong output. This is called gigo or garbage in the garbage out. Computers are expensive as they require various types of programs called software to carry out different tasks. To use a computer, you will have to learn about various applications so that you can get your desired results. Computer technology is changing swiftly. So we have to keep updating our computers as well as our own knowledge to keep pace with these changes thank you clico for letting me know so much about computers